Meet Dexter Lawson. On a bad day, he decided to steal a plumbing truck. And then, while on the run, he did not like it when a small town police officer, Deputy Chikara Hearns, decided to put a stop to his crime spree. He drove the plumbing truck towards the police vehicle, slamming her into a ditch. He then got out of the truck, shot at her several times, and fled on foot. She survived, and he was caught a few hundred yards away. This is his trial. But, prior to his trial on another bad day, Dexter made another fateful decision. He decided to represent himself. Judge Marsh, the presiding judge, gave him all the necessary warnings to let him know that he was making a foolish decision. But Dexter insisted that he could handle the job better than any lawyer. So here we are, day one of his trial, and not just any trial. This is the trial of the attempted murder of a cop. So, of course, the top prosecutor, the state attorney himself, is at the other table, Jack Campbell. This is Dexter's first opportunity to shine, to impress the jurors with his eloquent opening statement. Or not, buckle up, you are in for a wild ride. All right, defense, you may present your opening statement. What I am about to laugh, they don't care no human, they don't care who tell it, they ain't got no tongue, all right? Okay. Look at this thing and all that. Now you gotta prove it. That's what I'm saying about proving. Like, circumstantial evidence ain't gonna be able to prove what he said. So, then, so when y'all see the evidence, please take note of the circumstances. Because if you gotta prove, you don't need to paint no picture. Not the truth speaks for itself. Okay, prove beyond a reason of God. That is, I know for a fact. You can't say, I know for a fact. I did that. That's proof beyond a reason of doubt. Proof beyond a reason of doubt is we just we just out clear off. Proof beyond a reason of doubt. I know for a fact he did that. I know for a fact that Breonna Taylor got killed in our house at one o'clock in the morning, and they had a little they ain't, they weren't even supposed to be there, and the person that they were looking for wouldn't even was then already in custody. Then they lied and said they, they, they served a no not one when they said they not, but they served a no not one. Okay, they lied to cover that up. Okay, I can prove beyond a real doubt that Kyle remember how he went to a blind protest of black black black, black lives and with a with a with an assault rifle. His his intent was in the evidence. You know what I mean? He he went to a a, a protester rally with a rifle and killed two people. And he out right now. Proof beyond the years doubt is I know for a fact that he did that. Okay. State. Um, see, they, they say four charges, right? But really, they got me five charges, right? Okay. The fifth charge is the aggravated or the um, possession of a firearm from an act. The reason why they ain't, they ain't trying me with that charge right there because ain't no fingerprints on, on the gun, right? How are you going to be able to prove being real without that I had that gun? Okay, then you say, I put off, I took off all my clothes. If I took off all my clothes, I stay down the road. They, they ain't going to tell you that, right? They ain't going to tell you that, okay, if I shot you, how you going to not know it, what to look for? The officer, when I come out of the woods, the officer ain't even know who I was. You know what I'm saying? So, how you gonna be able to forget who shot you if I shot you? Okay, but they ain't gotta prove that. They gotta prove that, right? Well, what I'm trying to show you is, they gon' they got the video that they don't win, they talking about they don't exist. It clearly shows that they don't need no who they were looking for. So how could it be me? Understand what I'm saying? Okay, then you got this lady. She said it was a tall person. I'm not tall. You looking for a tall person? I'm not tall. So they walked down. They, so they take the video and they delete it. Okay. You got to say, you know for a fact I did that, right? Okay. You got Jacob Blake, right? He got shot. Several times, paralyzed the way down. Damn, you know what I mean? You right there. You got all the evidence to prosecute and they ain't prosecuting, right? You got, you got John Floyd. Okay, if, if, 
I go into a bank with three other people, and I was the only one to talk the counter, and I was the only one to rob them. If you leave with me, the only thing you can say is, you ain't know I was hard bank. But if you leave with me, why ain't it? Okay, you, better, you can't say you ain't, you, you ain't part of the robbery. So why you ain't charge four officers with murder? Why you just charge dead and show with? Okay, then, you, then the other officer, he, he, get, he, get, he get two years. And you holding in there, okay? This proof be already got. Okay, so like when if I moved out of Quincy and I moved back, I still move out. So once you get exposed, you can't play because what you do, you can't take back. Understand what I'm saying? So okay, there's the video is not gonna show. Oh, Dexter Antonio with Austin shoot no four, no six times. It is not gonna show that. I can pull that down in the doubt, cause you gonna see it, right? But okay, like like Kim and Lepar, right? Okay, she say she missed cause she missed the mistake in her taser, her Glock for a taser, right? Okay, but that's for a woman gave her baby rap poison. She did that. If, if, if you if you took your mechanic, if you took your car to a mechanic. And he put oil in the gas tank. He did that. And he, I mean, you don't get paid to think. You get paid to know. You understand what I'm saying? And she get okay. And she and, and she get two years. She get two years. If that is not favoritism, okay. You got police officers shooting people down in the streets, and they ain't even going to jail. Period. So, okay. Um, this proof be on real without. So when you say when you when you don't got all the evidence, that's service has evidence. Cause you, cause you don't got so because you don't let other people get away with murder and on your jail. Donald Trump, he decided to cap on her on she he decided to ride on Capitol. You can prove I can prove that beyond real without. He decided to ride on the Capitol. People died doing that, doing that ride. He ain't even go to jail. Okay, you got Donald Trump. He misleading tax numbers and numbers. This proof be really got, but he's not going to jail. So when you got all this evidence and you are not prosecuted, you gotta have all the evidence. This proof be on really got. You gotta be like, I know for a fact he did that. Because I got I see things with my eyes that I can't believe, right? If a, if a, if if you told me I want to get out a baby, and I never seen it, I would have thought you were lying, right? If I if if if, if you told me I'm lying, a tiger, a bat, and if I never seen it, I would have thought you were lying. So when you say because think about think about this, okay? They pick and choose who to break the rule for, who to enforce the rules on. Them. Okay, this for the I see everybody know this. For sure, this is how they do. This is how they operate. Okay, so when you when you let like like you, I see on Facebook this officer, right? He 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 was chasing the, the person, right? And he stand on brakes and shot through the windshield. Drop, 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 dude! Like it ain't you in jail. You got this officer in Ohio, he shoot a kid in the bike, fell off in the kitchen, and I didn't go to jail, and he on body cam. You got, you got George, George Zimmerman. Okay, you the aggressor. You a great, you, you a real aggressor, you harassing a child, and when a child fights you bite, and that child ain't even got no gun on the left, you shoot him dead, and he, and he was able to prove Stand, stand your ground. How you gonna be able to prove stand your ground and you the aggressor? If you the aggressor, you was not able to, to prove stand your ground because you the aggressor. These are the things that they let slide. But he just said, he said, they said, he said, I shot. See, thing. Okay, you gotta be able to prove that I had that Glock 45. You gotta be able to prove I had that Glock 45. That proved be on even doubt because you gonna let the people get away with murder. And y'all have more than enough evidence. Put it on the table. Mama said, I just want the privilege that did it that went to jail. Because if anybody else did it, they would have went to jail. Okay. 
Then when the, the democracy is the opposite of democracy is pro life, right? Okay. God gave all of us life, so He gave us a power, a choice, right? So pro life is you want to choose who live and who die. That's Russia. That's China, right? Okay. With the democracy, the people in power. How is the people in power depending on control the money, right? Okay. Whoever controls the money. Is their power. That's why this is, doesn't reflect a uh, democracy, right? Okay, that's just like how the people in power and the women can't show their own body. Like, okay, they got, they got, they got Donald Trump. He is a threat to democracy. A threat to democracy. He lets you know that. He said there will be no peaceful transfer of power. And he showed him when we're gonna be no sham piece of trap or power because he 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 claimed a vote vote fraud. You claim a vote fraud, okay, then you produce the evidence so that this is not voter fraud and you still and you still got everybody to believe in vote fraud. Why? Because ten pills I'll see the parties at sidebar. Mr. Lawson, I'm being patient, but uh, we've been talking about Breonna Taylor. We've been talking about Donald Trump. We've been talking about a lot of parade of horribles that may all be true, may all be horrible, but they have absolutely nothing to do with this trial. Mr. Campbell's been patient. He hadn't objected, and I understand why, but at, at the end of the day, I've got to protect the integrity of this trial, that this case is not going to be tried on uh, politicization. It's not going to be tried on tugging the heartstrings or the emotions of the jury. It's going to be tried on the facts and the evidence to the extent that you, you've said that a video isn't going to show X, Y, and Z. I'm going to let you go on with that, but I'm not going to let you bring in all of these completely irrelevant things that are never going to come out in court and, and keep going on with that. I'll let you talk about what evidence you think will come out in this trial, uh, and, and that is an opening statement. This is not an opening argument. This is Hold on, sir. I'm speaking, and then I'll let you speak, uh, but this, uh, this is an opening statement. I told this jury exactly uh, the, the way this trial would be handled. I told them what an opening statement was, and you're to conform with that. It's what you think the evidence will or won't show. Brianna Taylor, uh, as tragic as that death uh, was, has nothing to do with this case. It has nothing to do with the facts and the evidence that will come out in trial in this case. Donald Trump has nothing to do with this case. So I'm going to let you stick to the facts and evidence that will come in this case, or I'll go ahead and let you be done. Now you may speak, sir. Okay, I don't. I'm not obligated to talk about me. I'm. I'm obligated to form a defense that's gonna be a comparison to the evidence. That's gonna be in the, the comparison to the evidence that he's saying he's gonna be presenting, but he don't got. Okay. Well then, sir, that's that is argument. That is more appropriate for closing argument. This is opening statement. So you're gonna stay away from all this politically charged stuff, and you're gonna talk about the evidence that will or won't come out in this case. Do you, you got, understand? You got a TV on on me right now. You talking about not political? This is political all day. Okay, and sir, we're, we're not gonna have a show trial, so uh, you understand the court's ruling. I understand. I was just trying to show y'all the difference. And I was just trying to put it in perspective for y'all as in comparison to, to show that the evidence that he's saying he got, he don't got, right? Well, um, my, my opening is basically like this. Um, I realized that the past is the only thing real. Everything else is fake. I mean, if you, whatever decision that you make in a moment, they're going to dictate everything around you. So, hopefully y'all, y'all um, pay attention to the, um, the evidence and what they got. Because the thing is, you ain't got no fingerprints on that gun. 
You can't even fool be on a reason without none of the other things that you talk about because for one, okay, Debbie Hearn pulled in front of my car, in, in front of the truck. I mean, I seen life and I panicked. That's not, you can't pull a temp, there's nothing out there. Like, you can't even, like, that, that was just a decision that, that, that just developed. Like, I didn't get out of the thing. And based on the, 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 the distance from when she pulled in front of the truck and where the truck was at, this is a bump. I was just a child, I was attempting to flee. This is a bump. Like, when you, when you see the video, you won't be able to see that the truck is off two feet. If it's out two feet, I have no control over, over the truck anymore. How you gonna be able to prove, okay, I have no control over the truck anymore, so when the, I can't stop the truck for, so I, so you know what I mean? This is what I want y'all to pay attention to when y'all see the video, because you can't, you can, this is a one impact, this is a, a spontaneous decision that, that, that occurred based on the fact that when, when I see the light, it, it just trips something like, and the thing is, okay, what I, what I brought up earlier, it just, everything is a trip. All right, you put me on, you put me on national news, you got me on TV, right? And you ain't, you, you got to be able to prove beyond me without every element of what y'all saying to happen. Because if ain't no faith puts on a gun, and ain't no DNA on a gun, how you gonna say, oh, I bet you that video ain't gonna show that that's really gonna show that. Okay, so that, what they trying to do, they trying to paint a picture and, 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 and by using the circumstantial evidence. Okay, this is how, okay, if, 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 okay, you got, your friend, you got one of them saying that it was a tall individual who shot four times, right? I'm not a tall individual, like, and then I got a big head. So once you see me, you automatically gonna know who to look for. If you don't know what to look for, you never see me. So they say that I was on the scene, prove I was on the scene, just because you, you ain't seen me one person on the scene, that don't mean it was more than one person on the scene. Understand what I'm saying? So when when they when they when when they talk about my clothes, I stay at home. If I would have did what you said, what they said I did, why not run to the house? Why not take the gun with me? Why 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 leave everything behind? That's that's just bizarre. That's crazy. If and I never left the scene, and I stayed down the road. I stay exactly down the road. This is the reason why, okay, I'm in the woods, right? When I come out of the woods, you got several officers, right? Okay, I know all y'all got down body cam. All y'all got a body cam. So, now the state saying they don't got this video. Okay, now, you already know now that they done put it. Everything together. They done, they done went through everything. They done, they done, they done, they done dusted this gun. They done got this thing. They came and squad me at the county jail. They came and squad me at the county jail. But you got all this evidence in mind. You got my wallet with my family, with my DNA and all this and everything. Why you want to squad me? Oh, it's not matching up, huh? Now you try to say, and then they, 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 they got, they going to instruct y'all to say, okay, if y'all find guilty of attempted murder, then he automatically had the gun. No, 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 no. Ain't no, ain't no chicken for no egg. The, if it weren't for the gun, it ain't for no ten. You can't prove to the miracle. Okay, whoever had that Glock 45 was a shooter. My fingerprints ain't on the gun. My DNA ain't on the gun. So how you gonna be able to prove I was a shooter if who shot that gun was who? You had a, you had a Glock 45, right? So. Like I told you, like you trying to use special, you trying to use circumstantial evidence in the place of proof. You don't have proof. It doesn't show me shooting. This doesn't show 
what they saying that I that I that that, that, that um that I did. You know what I mean? So I want y'all to take that in consideration because it was a Glock 45 who shot the run. It was a Glock 45 who shot the car. Like, if you can't prove beyond a reason that I had that gun, and you got to be able to prove beyond a reason that every element of that crime, and I ain't got to prove nothing, you got to be able to prove someone innocent. How you going to be able to prove beyond a reason that? Like, that's my whole situation because you don't separate the, the trials. You got me going, you got me going to try it on four now and the gun later. So what they want you to do, they want you to find me guilty on attempt murder so they can pin the gun on me. Because the gun was stolen out of Tallahassee. Okay, the reason why they ain't charged me with they stole the stolen gun, the reason why they ain't told me what they ain't charged me with all that other stuff because ain't no pain if it's on the gun. Okay, now, like I told you earlier, like, okay, you don't allow a lot of people to get away with all this stuff. So I ain't trying to like reiterate on that, but what I'm trying to say, okay. If you gotta be able to prove every element of the crime, and my fingerprint, my DNA on the gun. Your Honor, I'm gonna reject. This is argumentative. Sustained. Move on. Okay. And 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 the gun wasn't found on me. I know it in me. I mean, I don't know nothing about no for a fact, right? So I won't like the, the like and then by them doing away with this video, uh, the devil you gotta understand that. Okay, everybody lie. And everybody like a person ain't gonna tell the truth when it ain't in their favor. You don't wanna tell the truth when it's in your favor. So like you 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 got I mean and then the reason why I found a public film. Objection, oh. Your Honor. This is inappropriate for opening. Sidebar. Argumentative. This, this is my defense. Sidebar. <laughs> Mr. Lawson, you're allowed to represent yourself. You don't get to talk about why you fired your attorney. You could have fired him because you don't like the color of their hair, the smell of their perfume. You could have done it because you've spent, you know, lots of time studying law. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant why you fired your public defender. Now, you've gone on and on about things that are totally irrelevant, and and, and it's inappropriate. You've, you've talked, you've done plenty of things where you talk about the evidence won't show this, the evidence won't show that, and that's fine, that's acceptable. And that's what I expect. But to the extent that you are arguing what th certain things mean or reasons why you brought up now, you've brought up this other charge that's, that, that this court severed to protect your uh, your rights, but you're now bringing it up. So I'm not going to let you keep injecting error into this trial that you're going to turn around and say, we all messed it up. So uh, you need to wrap it up, uh, but I'm going to give you enough to talk about the factual circumstances that you've already told them, so you're not going to tell them again that that the facts will show that your your uh, prints were not on the gun. That's fine. You've told them that the the facts uh, will not it will show that uh, the DNA was not on your gun. That's fine. You've already told them, so you don't need to tell them again. And you've told them uh, that that you were found at the scene. You were t you've told them uh, that uh, the. Uh, the facts will show that you didn't have control of the vehicle. That's all uh, because uh, you had lost control at the time it would bump. That's perfectly acceptable, so you don't need to tell them again. You've told them plenty of factual things, so I'll let you stick to new factual things, but I'm not going to let you argue and say, that because of that, this means X or this means Y, and you're to compare it to, to something else. You can talk about what the facts will and won't show, and you've done a lot of that, and that's fine. And that's acceptable. But again, you're now getting into the part that's closer to a closing argument, and I'll let you make that at the end of the trial, but we're not going to argue. You've done a lot of factual parts that were actually uh, very acceptable and exactly the stuff you're showing them, that it's not going to show these things. Then let's get to trial, and we'll see if Mr. Campbell can make with the goods. If he can't, then you can make those arguments you've been making now. You can make those at the end. Do you understand? All right.
Dexter's opening statement establishes the tone for the entirety of the trial. Spoiler alert, mid-trial, Dexter tries to quit, but the judge does not let him. We are doing a separate video on that, coming soon, plus an awesome video displaying his quickly evolving orator skills via his amazing closing argument. Thank you.